Snowball is a wild elf who um, works at the grotto in the Lapland and he is a, like a gift wrapper and he wraps gifts but and he has and his dream is to be an inventor he's very he thinks he's a very good person and he is he's a very good elf but he is on the naughty list as we do see because of the fact that he's keeping this Krampus dog and without Santa's permission I mean he he got Santa's permission to throw it away but then he didn't because he felt bad that it was about to die to a bear Fluffy almost got eaten by a bear and when he jumped into the portal and went into the underworld because I thought we were never going to see Fluffy again. It's extremely sad. I nearly cried. It's, it's just like, he just jumps into a whirlpool. Mm. I felt really bad for Alabaster. Um, but he's, def he's, he's definitely a good and caring elf. But he's on the naughty list for a reason. So he... But he's still trying to help the grotto. But he was also on the naughty list for stealing the Infinity Crystal and, and getting Cornelius Bandersnatch into this. So the villain of the story is this guy called Cornelius Bandersnatch. And his plot is to basically end Christmas, but then make profits because he's... He's said that, oh, Santa, you can't be here. That's illegal. You don't have a permit. So then all of the elves have to move out into London, where they are basically controlled by Cornelius Bandersnatch. And what his plan is to make sure that no children get presents like under the Christmas tree. Who's the villain of the story? I think it's Cornelius Bandersnatch because he tried to close down the grotto tried to blow up Santa, tried to steal Christmas all for himself just because he was greedy. I loved it. I would recommend it to a lot of people. I love the story and I think my friends would love it too, especially because Christmas is coming up. I think it would be a really good story then. And, I, and I've been trying to recommend it to my friends already. It's the perfect Christmas story because it has... It has its emotion, it's like ambition, emotion, it's adventure, it's like happiness, but it's also sad at some bits. It's amazing. It, it's like a jack of all trades. It's amazing. I think people should read it because it has so many cliffhangers and also because it is very exciting and has a lot of plot twists. It makes you feel like you're actually there. It makes you feel like you're in someone's past and you're reviewing it. It's so descriptive that you can actually see what the characters look like. And also, what I also think is it's really f like plot twists. There's so many plot twists and it's just amazing. <laughs>